good evening all uh, welcome to the rare but classic series set 4 so recently our channel has crossed uh, 5000 subscribers so i thank all my subscribers followers who have been constantly supporting our channel so and even uh, i thank my seniors juniors colleagues my mentors who, uh, without their support uh, this channel has not uh, come to this level so these are all the reasons uh, you can subscribe for to our channel so these are all the entities you can regularly follow on our channel so, coming to the first case here you can see the patient uh, presented with mobile hypopoyan here you can see this is the mobile hypopoyan and even the patient has skin ulcers and oral ulcers there is restricted diffusion and DWI noted in the basal ganglia so whenever you see mobile hepapayan with restricted diffusion and DWI in the basal ganglia definitely suspects Besser's disease so this was a case of neuro Besser's disease so neuro Besser's disease recurrent mobile hepapayan previous episodes of red eyes acne like skin lesions and oral ulcers restricted diffusion and DWI in basal ganglia brainstem and diencephalon are the classical features you can see in neuro Besser's disease next case here you can see there is a uh, classification noted in the spleen which has typical target like or lamellated appearance which remix the onion peel like skin and here this is the fat suppressed situated image you can see this uh, concentric lamellated appearance this was a case of classical splenic brucellosis so splenic brucellosis is a common zoonosis particularly seen in Mediterranean countries splenic brucellosis may present as an abscess or calcified lesion and if it is a calcified lesion it typically presents as target like or concentrically lamellated calcification so this is the uh, target like or concentrically lamellated calcification mimicking the onion pin appearance Differential diagnosis can be epidermoid cyst, hydrated cyst, calcified aneurysm, even splenic tuberculosis, histoplasmosis, amyloidosis, treated lymphoma, post-traumatic calcified cyst and even hemangiomas. So whenever you see lamellated appearance like calcifications in the spleen, one of the differential will be epidermoid cyst and even splenic brucellosis. Next case here you can see this is the tortuous umbilical cord which is surrounded by another loop of the umbilical cord which mimics the cyclone appearance or cyclone sign or hanging nose sign. And this is that this is the reason which gives the this imaging appearance on ultrasound so this was a case of true umbilical cord knot and this sign is called as cyclone sign in um, a true umbilical cord knot so true umbilical cord knot uh, is nothing but the umbilical cord loops around itself this occurs in less than one percent of pregnancies risk factors include long umbilical cord polyhydramnia small fetus and excessive fetal movements there will be torch of the of the cord at the level of the knot and the segment of umbilical cord knot is surrounded by another loop of umbilical cord which gives the diagnosis of true knot and which is depicted as hanging nose sign or cyclo cyclone sign if it is a, if this forms a true knot uh, this may lead to complete decrease in the blood supply and even lead to asphyxia or death next case here you can see there is a small projection like structure which is arising from the uh, thorax which is attached to the thorax here you can see this is the small limb like structure which is attached to the thorax and even this is this you can see this is the parent uh, twin which has an omphalo seal so whenever you see this type of imaging appearance here also you can see there is a limb like structure on uh, vrt reconstruction i will show the video for you so this is the classical limb like structure which is attached to the thorax of the fetus and this is the omphalo seal in the parent twin so this is nothing but a parasitic twin uh, so the parasitic twins you can see parasitic twin parasitic twin is supplied by internal mammary arteries to the parent twin in this case uh, the parent twin has omphalo seal the parasitic twin is a very rare anomaly with estimated uh, one in one, one, one million births the parasite has grossly recognizable fetal parts and usually attached to the autocyte by a soft tissue pedicle containing large blood vessels and it can be commonly attached in these eight sites like thoracopagus omphalopagus craniopagus cephalopagus parapagus ischiopagus pyopagus or rachipagus this is a case of thoracopagus which is supplied by internal mammary arteries and the parent twin has an omphalo cell which contains liver and bowel loops next here you can see there is a this is other case he is an young athlete with a recent uh, history of heavy gym uh, where he was recent uh, frequently making barbell squats without padding so there is prominent fat in the nape of the neck here you can see this is the prominent fat in the nape of the neck but there is no true capsule surrounding the lesion so this is a case of post-traumatic pseudolipoma post-traumatic pseudolipoma uh, is nothing but uh, it's not a true lipoma it is commonly seen in young athletic patients uh, and even in uh, pa persons who are regularly going to gym which who make barbell squats without padding 
the PTLs are nothing but uh, have a predilection for females and they can be primarily seen in lower extremities, gluteal or trochanteric regions and other entities, tar barrels hump, this is unusual presentation of a post-traumatic pseudolipoma in tar barrel rolling which is a family, family tradition. So tar barrel where they uh, uh, take the barrels of fire on the back especially on the neck which leads to tar barrels hump. Next, this is the other case where you can see there is a lesion noted in the in the along the fox at the ten, uh, falco tentorial region, which has both supratentorial and infratentorial compartment, uh, which is compressing the brainstem and even in causing displacement of the cerebellum inferiorly and even infiltrating the spina of carpus callosum. Uh, on IV contrast, you can see this is showing intense homogeneous enhancement. So this is a typical falco tentorial meningioma. So meningiomas are occurring at falco tentorial region are very rare. So these falco tentorial meningiomas they arise at the junction of fox cerebra and tentorium from the entry of vena of gallon posteriorly to the confluence of venous sinuses. They are very rare. They account for one to two percent of all meningiomas. DDs can be pineal or velum interpositum meningioma. CT angiography and venography are very important. Angiography gives the uh, information about feeding vessels and the veno we have to see whether it has infiltrated the straight sinus or confluence of the venous sinuses or vein of gallon because it may constantly lead to venous sinus thrombosis. So this has to be surgically resected. Thanks to Dr. Hichame Chamli for contributing this case. Next case here you can see this is the iota. There is thickening of the wall of the iota and even aneurysm arising from the right lateral of the iota which is surrounded by free air. So this is multiple free air pockets surrounded uh, are seen surrounding the iota. So this is a case of emphysematous uh, iotitis. So emphysematous iotitis is nothing but an entity which is uh, see, which uh, nothing but uh, is uh, presence of air or free air surrounding the inflamed iota. Most commonly bacteria producing gases like Clostridium and Klebsiella are the etiological agents. Others can be Staphylococcus, Salmonella, Pneumococcus, Escherichia coli and tuberculosis. Differential diagnosis can be non-infectious cause of arthritis like Takayasu arthritis, Ankylosing spondylitis, Giant cell arthritis, tuberculosis arthritis and syphilic arthritis. Signs of infective arthritis are aortic wall thickening, periaortic fluid, periaortic asymmetrical fat stranding or soft tissue mass, rapidly enlarging aneurysm, gas formation or air pockets adjacent to the iota as we have seen in this case and even vertebral body destruction can be seen. Periaortic gas and vessel wall emphysema indicate more advanced disease. Thank you all.